Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. So today, uh, I'm continuing my review of the Deco Art products. Today I'll be doing the Clear Pouring Top Coat. Um, the lovely people at Deco Art sent me a goodie box to try out. And I thought that I would share the results with you guys. Um, so, I guess let's just get this party started, shall we? So, according to the instructions, you pour it on, and then you have to put it at a 45 degree angle overnight, and, uh, basically you have to let it drip off the canvas at a 45 degree angle. So let's give this a whirl. It says not to shake the uh, top coat. So let's, what is gonna be the best way to do this? I have not seen any instructions on how much to use, so this is just taking a while to guess at it. And I seriously doubt that's going to be enough. I will say, Deco Art, if you are watching. A chart of how much to use would be awesome. Also, some kind of pouring spout so I don't make such a mess. That would be my two cents. I know you're probably not supposed to do that, but I feel like I need to help it along. And I have been given tips by other artists to use a fresh surface so that you can catch your drips and reuse them. I just want to help this over the edges a little bit here. It's like I, I know that so much of this is going to pour off and it just, I hate wasting product. But you have to make sure you get coverage, so I suppose it is better 
to use too much than it is to use too little. I am hoping that I absolutely love this effect because I hate varnishing. Hate is a strong word and it's appropriate. Oh, it's appropriate. <laughs> when I use the polycrylic, I have to do many layers to get the effect that I want. The problem with that is the more layers I do, the more opportunity there is for something to go wrong when I have a house full of pets and children. So, I'm always on the lookout for the next best thing. Please, oh please, let this be the next best thing because I've had it with the polycrylic. The stuff seems to get thick pretty, her like thicken up kind of quickly. Although, from others' reports, it continues to drip for quite some time after you've tilted it. So, I need to get my edges here. This is some messy business, y'all. Wear your gloves. It's sticky. I mean, you can definitely see it's moving like a molasses, but it's moving. I didn't use silicone in this painting, so hopefully 
I won't have any issues with resistance. Right, we are almost fully covered here. This stuff is definitely sticky. My fingers are sticking to the uh, canvas underneath. Okay. Maybe just a little bit down on that side again, just to be sure. Okay. Let me clean this off so I can get it open again next time. Because like I said, it's sticky. So I do still have a little bit here on the edge that doesn't look like it's fully covered, but that is the direction in which, oh, I did it the wrong way. All right. Easy enough to fix. I have my handy dandy uh, C hooks. These things are my new favorite thing on the planet because they come in super handy. Keep your canvas off your working surface. You can twist them easily in and out. You can level your canvas with them. And you can get it to hold at a 45 degree angle. Okay, I can actually start, I can see the line, the little berm right there. That is definitely some sticky stuff. That is one use of your gloves. You won't use them again. Fair warning. So here's how I have the my little setup. And it's hard to tell, but it's not actually touching the canvas. It's resting, that is very shaky, sorry. It's resting on the hook. Okay, so it's starting to come to the edge. And when it starts coming down there and dripping, I'm going to catch it in a little cup and try to save up as much of it as I can because I hate being wasteful so I will uh, let this dry overnight and I will come back in the morning and show you the results and be very very hopeful that I love them because I don't want to varnish anymore <laughs> okay back in a few okay so here it is the next day it is very shiny it's very very good coverage very smooth uh, I believe if you were to do two coats of this stuff it would look like resin I do have I'll put the glare right in the spot on the corners there some spots where 
I tried to touch it up. That was me. That is not the product's fault. That is 100% user error. I thought that uh, I was I was worried. I didn't have enough coverage on the corners. I probably could have used a little more uh, of the of the top coat so that my edges were covered better. I was trying to not waste any, and in doing so, I messed up the finish. So, would you rather lose an extra ounce of product or your painting? <laughs> Lesson learned. So, um, I had almost nothing drip off, which lets you know that I really didn't overuse it, um, which is probably why my edges weren't covered. I tried to fix it with the drips. Don't do that. All in all, I really, really like it. Um, I didn't have any silicone in this painting, so it's hard to say um, what would happen if you still had some residual. Uh, but I will say this, this would be several coats of um, the polycrylic. This would take at least three coats of polycrylic to get to this thickness and shine. And I usually do some basics, uh, not basics, uh, the Liquitex um, gloss varnish. I do some that before I do the polycrylic. So to be able to do this all in one step, uh, I dig on that for sure. I think I'm going to be making uh, a purchase of this stuff because uh, I don't like having to do <laughs> 10 layers of varnish for my paintings. <laughs> it looks good, but it takes a long time. This costs a little more, but it takes less time. And I am all of a sudden very, very, very busy. So... Time is money, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I learned something. Uh, don't do that on the corners. But other than that, uh, I really like this stuff. So I think I'm gonna be making the switch. I will have uh, in my Amazon shop, to which you can find the link in the description box and uh, I will have that in there if you wanted to check it out I do make a small percentage off of anything that you buy in there at no extra cost to you so if you got some Amazon shopping to do have a look at the store I really appreciate it it helps me stop stay stocked in supply so I can keep breaking new videos so Thank you for watching. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I hope you have a beautiful day and go make some art.